Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to reduce polycount with SimpliGon 10.3's Unity plugin. We already assume that we have SimpliGon installed and we will now install the SimpliGon Unity plugin in our Unity project. Go to Window, Packet Manager, click the plus icon and then pick Add Package from Tarball. Under Program Files, SimpliGon 10, Unity, uh, Binary, we will find uh, the plugin. And we are using Unity 2022, so we will use this one. In SimpliGon 10.3, we have removed the dependency on USD as an intermediary format. In order to bring up the SimpliGon window, we click Window, then SimpliGon. Let's now do a basic 50% reduction of this house. We select it, then click Add Load Component, Template, Basic, then Reduction. We can expand reduction settings and see that we can pick a number of different reduction targets. We're just going to go for triangle ratio. Then we click the SimpliGon icon to start process. And we now have a new asset in our scene. The asset is imported into the LODs folder as a prefab. If we inspect it, we can see that it still keeps all the other uh, Unity components that was on the original asset. For example, this box collider is still present. And we can see that it uses the same material as the original asset. This is because reduction does not change any of the materials. Instead, it uses the same ones. If we inspect uh, the resulting model, we can see that we now have 6400 triangles and we can compare that to the original uh, in which we had roughly 13,000 triangles. So without any significant visual degradation we now have only half of the triangles left. Let's try to use another reduction target. Instead of triangle ratio we are going to use triangle count. And uh, as an experiment, we are going to push this down to 1000 triangles. After import, we can inspect our model. And we can see that it looks a little bit broken. So what this tells us is that uh, we have pushed the model beyond the point where it breaks apart. Every model has uh, has a point where it starts to break apart and in order to optimize models further than that we would need another tool than reduction. But that is for another video. Uh, I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this little SimpliGon tutorial and that you will find it useful later on. If you want to learn more about how you can use SimpliGon for Unity games, uh, please follow this YouTube channel. Thank you.